Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be prepping my 300 win mag for a elk hunt. So I figured I might as well run you guys through the steps on how to properly mount and level your scope. Um, starting with the bases that go into the action. Scope rings, mounting the scope, leveling it. Show you guys some of the tools I'm using, how I'm doing it. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with it. I'm going to be mounting this Vortex Diamondback Tactical Scope onto my 300 wind mag. So I'll be using Weaver Action Bases and Loopold PRW Rings. Over here you can see some of the tools that I'll be using. I have a Weaver Fat Wrench Torque Wrench, a T15 screwdriver just for hand tightening, and I actually have two different levels. One level will go on the gun and level the rifle. The other level will level the scope. Alright, so we will be starting with our action bases here. I'm going to go ahead and tighten these down. You're going to want to tighten these screws 22 to 25 inch pounds of torque. So I'm just going to hand tighten them all for now before torquing them. We're going to go ahead and set this to 20, 22 to 25 about inch pounds of torque and go ahead and tighten those down. And we're going to repeat the same process in the back. All right, now we're going to mount the base to our scope ring. So we're going to go ahead and put that on there. Now we're going to hold this scope base up against the end towards the muzzle of the rifle. Go ahead and just hand tighten these for now. And then when we come back, we're going to go ahead and tighten these down 30 to 35 inch pounds of torque. Alright, now that we got them on there, we'll go ahead and put our wrench to about 30, say 30 to 35 inch pounds of torque. Go ahead and torque them down. Now that we have all of them secured, torqued down, we're going to go ahead and take our scope, we're going to place it in there, get behind the rifle, find your correct eye relief. Typically you're going to want to go ahead and adjust your zoom to about the midway point. This is a 6 to 24 scope, so I'm going to go ahead and put my adjustment on 12 power. And that's how I'm going to find my correct eye relief. So 
So that's going to be about where I like the scope for my eye relief. Um, it's going to be different for everybody. So to find what works best for you and go from there. Now we're going to go ahead and level the scope. This is where things can get a little bit tricky. I'm going to be mounting this reticle leveler to the action bases of the rifle because we want the level we want to go ahead and level the rifle and once we level the rifle we can level the scope to the rifle so the bipod on my rifle actually allows me to pivot the rifle a little bit and that's how I can find my perfect level so I like it right there I'm going to go ahead and lock this down. Oop, I moved it just a hair. Go ahead and lock down this bipod. You can see we're perfectly level right there. So now, we're going to go ahead and take this other level. Attach it to the scope. And you can see that's actually about perfect right there. You can see both of those levels are perfect. That's where I like it. The scope is level. I'll go ahead and add the top part of the rings now. I'm going to go ahead and add the top half of the ring. On both sides. And now we'll go ahead and start adding screws. All right, when we're torquing down the tops of the ring halves, there's a certain sequence we're going to want to follow. One, two, three, and four. That's how we're going to tighten these down. And as we are tightening them down, we're going to want to watch on the sides of our rings here and here that we're maintaining the same spacing on each side of the ring. And we're also going to want to be checking to make sure that we're maintaining level on our scope. When shooting distances, you want your scope to be as level as possible to the action of the rifle. So right there, we're about perfect, as you can see. So we're going to go ahead, and we're going to start torquing these down, and we're going to watch our bubble level as we do it to make sure that we're maintaining level the entire time. We're going to want to torque these down to about 25 inch pounds. And just like that, we got our scope mounted and ready to go to the range for sight in. We're going to go ahead and go zero this rifle in, get it ready for the elk hunt. Hopefully we get you guys a good video made of that elk hunt. Hopefully find some pretty decent bulls. So We hope you enjoyed this video. We hope it helped you out if you had any questions about mounting a scope. If you have any further questions, go ahead and drop us a comment down below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you for watching, guys. We love you all. God bless. We'll see you on the next video.